Good afternoon, Tim Akile. Well, they're very confident. Uh, at the scene in, uh, at a small holding south of Johannesburg, they found the ISIS black standard, that black flag that you, you recognize where, when you're seeing held by uh, these particular Islamic extremists. They, we understand that they seized uh, training manuals as well. Um, and one of the suspects, we understand, is already on the watch list. Uh, this is a crime intelligence-led operation, and there is one suspect who's still outstanding. So the, in, the, the crime intelligence officials that I'm speaking to are very confident that what they've stumbled across here is not just a small a kidnapping and ransom operation, but rather a racket that is potentially linked to other kidnaps uh, of, of individuals and possibly murder. And Barry, just on that, so we've got five suspects who've now been arrested by police. How, do we have an indication of how big this terrorism cell might be? Because I remember a conversation at the beginning of this month where South Africa had apparently received a threat from the group saying to the country, stay out of the conflict in Cabo Delgado, Mozambique, or face some sort of backlash. You're quite right, Tebekile. That is the concern. Speaking to uh, Ryan Cummings from Signal Risk, uh, this, is a, this is his own uh, consultancy that looks at risk in Africa, and that is the exact issue that came up. Um, the officials in South Africa are exploring the, just exactly how this particular cell is linked to others or if there is a potential link to what is going on in northern Mozambique. The concern there, and you're right, South African government received a direct threat. Should this government provide any operational support to the uh, Mozambican government to crack down on what's happening in the northern parts of Mozambique, well, there would be repercussions for this country. And there is a concern that if that is the case, that they could activate, the organization could, they could activate cells within South Africa for reprisal attacks. Uh, Ryan comes telling me that this is exactly the concern and this is the concern coming from within crime intelligence uh, as they explore other links uh, other operations uh, related to these these particular five individuals who've been arrested so far